In a more recent study, three scientists worked together. Their, name, their names are Michael Mann, Raymond Bradley, and Malcolm Hughes. And in 1998, they published the study called Northern Hemisphere Attempts, Past Millennium. And their study um, is fairly famous. It was controversial at the time. Um, and it's often now referred to as the hockey stick graph that they published. And it's called the hockey stick hockey stick graph because it shows that over the last 1,000 years the temperature was fairly steady and when I say fairly of course there's a bunch of noise in this graph um, but it's fairly flat and then around the time of industrialization so um, early 1900s and, and beyond we see all of a sudden a sharp increase in the temperature and so you might say well how do they know what the temperature was in 1200 AD, for example. So how do they know about this data? What, how do they get these numbers? Well, what they did was interesting. They looked at tree rings from many different trees around the northern hemisphere, and then they calibrated those tree rings and had the, the, the width of the tree rings with temperature measurements that had been taken around the world over the last um, century, so over the 1900s. So they looked at how thick were the tree rings at different temperatures throughout the 1900s, and then they used that to calibrate their measurements. So essentially they said if the temperature was 50 degrees and the tree ring width was this much. And so from that information, they extrapolated back, and they looked at tree rings from trees that were very old, and they, they said, well, based on the width of the tree ring in a certain year, they would, they would say that means the temperature was whatever, 50 degrees. And so that's how they got this graph. So some people argue that that's not a good um, method, methodology, but um, that's, that's how science works. So they, they kind of, you take data that you have, you make a, a relation, you determine the relationship between two variables, and then you can use that to kind of extrapolate back in time. So this is just one piece of evidence that we have to support the idea that climates were cooler in the past and that they've warmed significantly since industrialization. But of course, there's many, many more uh, studies that have shown similar trends. And so this was just kind of one of the first the first in a long series of studies that have taken place over the last 20 years that have made this a much more definitive uh, science.